Welcome to our tiny home on wheels. Hi everyone, I am so excited to be showing you guys our tiny home, our camper van. The home that we are going to be living in for the next two months while we travel all around Australia. Right when you come on into the van, you have our living room slash bedroom. In the daytime, this is our couch and extra seating space and our hangout spot. But by night, all of this folds out and lays on top of the chairs and it becomes our bedroom. It's pretty comfortable for being a camper van, I guess. It has two pads and you get to like lay on one of them. So it's not the best, but it works for us. And yeah. Up here is Alethea's bed and this becomes the second double bed. So this vehicle here is good for like four people and is like perfect for small families. So we set up this bed to become Alethea's bed and the pieces down here pull out on top of our bed down below and yeah so it's like pretty much a bed and a bed like on top of each other the thing we like about Alethea's bed up here is that if you had like kids who are taller you can set it up so that the bed goes like all the way from over here all the way to where our bed ends but because she's so little and she technically just needs like a little toddler bed we only set it up to about here so that allows us to still have extra living space when she's asleep and we're not. Up here is also where all of our blanket storage is so when we rented the van it came with lots of blankets to keep us warm which was great because it has been so cold on our trip so far if you've seen our other videos we have been stuck in the rain and it's been horrible so they definitely give you enough blankets to keep you warm in the cold weather so we have two big duvets and then there's four sheets and all of it can get stowed up here so it's nicely put away while you're hanging out in the vehicle we set up these mini lights to go around our bed and around our couch, but you can also set them out outside because there's a plug-in outside and if you're hanging out outside, we can plug them in out there to make the outdoor atmosphere more, more aesthetic. That's the word, more aesthetic. Um, also around the whole van are these curtains which are really convenient for privacy when we are changing or just when we're like sleeping and we don't want sneaky sneaky eyes looking in on us snoozing <laughs> so they just all fold out like that super easy these are also really convenient because in the morning when we're trying to sleep in a little bit and the sun comes up early they block the sun from coming in up on the top we have these two windows and it's great for like ventilation when we are cooking but it's also great for warm days to let the breeze flow in. Down here is our dining room and Alethea's craft table and <coughs> she's playing with the Alethea come here. <laughs> and also where we could like edit videos and it's pretty small so me and Alethea usually eat here and then Andy finds anywhere else to eat. <laughs> There's two buttons on the bottom you just hold them and it falls down just like that easy peasy <laughs> it doesn't give us a hard time at all <laughs> ever okay ever never never ever <laughs> Especially when the car seat's installed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, this is one of our chairs. We have two chairs because, like I said, this is for a family of four. And this side right here is where Alethea's high chair, not high chair. This seat right here is where we put Alethea's car seat. And it's great because it gives her kind of like a high chair that she can sit at when she's eating at her table or a chair that she can do her crafts in. 
One of the cons to this particular camper van is that it has little to no storage. So down below, under these two seats, are where we found and make use of the little tiny bit of space. We will shove our shoes, our dishes, our dirty laundry, really anything that we can fit under it. It's yeah, under yeah. there. And then back here is our kitchen slash bathroom. <laughs> so on this side is our bathroom. Up here, all of the buttons are like lock proof. So you lock them when you're driving so that things don't like fall all around the place. So you just push it and you open it. And this is our bathroom. We keep all of our like, all of our makeup and deodorant and shampoo and curling irons and all that kind of jazz in there. Um, this panel here is to activate our lights and our water pump and our fridge which always stays on and the main switch always stays on. Down here is our sink and it has our water and it's activated through our water pump switch and anytime we go to like a caravan park we have to refill our water and then we can do dishes in here and brush our teeth in here and Andy will show you how that works outside. Down below in these cupboards is our kitchen and on this side we have like pots and pans and plates. We have like laundry detergent and toaster and water and bowls, all that kind of stuff. Up, up here, up here on the top we have all of our cups and mugs for coffee and Alethea's bottles. And oh, she has so much bottles, it kind of like falls down here. In this area, we have our important gadgets. We have like chargers and batteries and keys and wallets and stuff like that. Over here is Alethea's diaper section. We have our diapers and wipes. We have towels. We have electronics. I have my purse here right now. And this is our stove. They give you like a two burner stove. It's a gas stove to turn it on. You just like activate the gas and then hit the switch and it hit the pilot. It lights up. You have two little ports here for a charging station. This is where we have our mini lights set up right now, but we charge our phone on here. I can curl my hair with this one, anything like that. In this drawer down here, we have all of like our knives and spoons and utensils and salt and pepper, everything like that. Down here is our pantry, and the very, very bottom is where we keep Alethea's toys and coloring books and stuff like that. We have a microwave that only works when we're plugged in, and we have a fridge that always works. And there's actually more room in there than I thought. I was thinking like we wouldn't even be able to have enough food for like one day, but we actually have enough food for like a couple days and it's good. <laughs> yeah, and oh yeah, and then now you're outside. The back opens up and it's great when you have a beautiful view. Like, this view is not the best right now, but imagine I'm at a beach and it's a sunny, hot day. <laughs> it would be really nice. We have yet to have that though, <laughs> but we're waiting for it. These are the not so fun parts of the van. This is the door. This gives us access to inside of the van. This is the door I always get confused with because I'm used to driving on the right side of the road with the driver's side being on the left side. This is the passenger side. Right here we have uh, the only storage compartment in the van, which houses our shoes and a couple of chairs. It also houses the electrical cable and the hose. Here we have the back of the caravan. This opens up for easy access to get inside. And if it's raining, this provides a little bit of shelter from the rain. Especially if you need to press some veggies. You got a little cutting board right here. 
another one right here, which easily flops back. Driver's side. And right here is where I fill up water from the hose. And that gives us the water needed to wash dishes and do all that kind of stuff. This is where the electricity goes. Right here is the gas. This just easily opens. I got it locked right now. But this is where I turn on the flammable, the LP gas. This is where I turn on the LP gas so that we can cook our supper. <laughs> Need a hand? Hola. <laughs> got our two dishes for two days. Because <laughs> we slept on the road. So, yeah. now it's time to catch up. <laughs> I like how they have music playing in here. Yeah. It's like, ooh. <laughs> I'ma do the dishes. And I'ma sing with it. Now I'm gonna clean these dishes. And sanitize them too. <laughs> Gross holding all that. It's greasy. Good luck. Oh, a little magazine to read while you're waiting for your laundry. Look at those zebra oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's so inappropriate. Sorry to butt in. <laughs> yep, put them all inside. Good job. Put them all inside. Yep, more. Yeah, good job. Good job. Put them inside. Wow, you're good at chores. Thank you for helping. Oh, stinky socks. Ooh, those socks are stinky. Good job. Thank you for your help. She's literally putting all the clothes in by herself. <laughs> Good job. Alrighty, Rue. Huh? <laughs> well, that's true. We're gonna see some kangaroos. No, we're not. <laughs> we're gonna see some koalas on Raymond Island. I am very excited to see some koalas. And then we're gonna go, we're gonna go for a hike. Hike. We go hike. We don't know where yet, but we'll see. Okay, <laughs> see you there. Koalas! We boarded one of the shortest ferries I've ever been to, and we're about to head to Raymond Island, aka Koala Island. We're gonna see some of the most fantastic animals, koala bears. I'm so excited to go there. Oh, we're already moving. We're already moving, yeah? <laughs> literally a one minute ferry back and forth. I am standing under a koala. <laughs> there is a koala right here and there is a koala right there and right there. There is koalas everywhere on this island. There is a koala. How cute. He's in the tree as a pillow. There's actually two koalas in this tree. Another one is right up here. That's a koala. Say koala. 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 Say koala. Lee is Raymond Island, famous for their koalas, but they also have a huge variety of tropical birds. We could not believe how many birds we saw just flying all around us and like birds that you would see in the tropics, like bright blue, green, red, so vibrant, so beautiful. And the kinds of noises that they make are 
nothing like we've heard before. Come on, Miss Hiker. Come on. Come on, little miss. <laughs> Does it smell good? <laughs> Let mom smell. <laughs> smell. Can you smell? Bye. Bye. We are on our fourth day on our journey across Australia. And right now we are in the beautiful state of Victoria. We're in a hike in the little town Bye. called Genoa. And this is called Genoa Peak. The trail so far has been really steep, so it's not the best for little legs like Alethea's, but for us adults, it's pretty easy because there's lots of rock formations on the ground to help you walk up the trail. We've reached Lower Genoa Peak! This is the Lower Genoa Peak. We still have a little bit of a hike to go, but wow. It's pretty cool because they built this lookout on top of like this giant rock. This is a beautiful view. Yay! Look how cool this is. You come to like two big rocks and you have to walk through the narrow passageway. They're like little ants. And there's a set of stairs. Super windy, freezing, but so beautiful. I see the ocean all the way over there. Wow. You can see everything from up here. We are so high up. This is the first kind of hike that I did that's like this. First ever. Yeah, you have to go on two sets of very steep stairs up the rock. The butterflies. <laughs> you get 360 views on top of a rock. Hanging on for the ride. Whee! She knows it's fun. Whee! 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 It's a fun. It's fun. Come near us with those noises. <laughs> <laughs> 